So let's go ahead and show you the setup of the incident types here. So here I am in Dynamics, um, field service. So just like Sarah Joe in the same environment, I'm gonna navigate down to the bottom left here and I am actually gonna choose settings. That's where incident types live. So let's go ahead and choose settings there. And then if you look on the left-hand navigation here or the site map, you will see incident types listed under work orders. So I'll go into that. I've got several incident types already set up, but incident types are really templates for my work orders. But let's look at one in particular here. Let's look at this replace core part. So I'm going to open up that one. So here you see it's got a name of replace core part, a longer description here. Um, if I go to the details tab, there's also a default work order type that I might use for sorting my work orders as we start using them. I also can see that this is gonna take two and a half hours. That's made up of the different service tasks that go into this incident type, which you'll see in a second. If I navigate to products here, I've got a product that I often, if I need to part them and replace all the time for this certain incident type, I can add a part to this. Um, services, these are used for like billing. So these would show up on the work order. Um, so if I have services here, I might be billing for these. So I can include those on this incident type. Service tasks are what our um, technicians are gonna work from. So this is basically their to-do list. So you can see there's four different service tasks listed here from confirm the part that needs to be replaced, et cetera. And each one of those has a time that add up to that two and a half hours that it's gonna take to perform this type of work. Characteristics is really what we're gonna focus on here. So you can see here, um, I have a characteristic set up. Um, if I go into um, like adding a new one here, I'll go ahead and choose an incident type here and we'll go ahead and add a new one where I'm gonna go ahead and pick HVAC. Okay, so basically to perform this work, I need somebody that has the skill set of an HVAC technician. I can also choose that proficiency, like are, do I need a rock star? Um, or do I need somebody that's just familiar with it? So I can go ahead and pick a rating value here and choose uh, a certain uh, proficiency. So I'll, I'll go ahead and choose Rockstar as well here. Okay, let's go ahead and save and close that. So now you see for this type of work where I got to replace a core part, we have two different um, characteristics that go with that. 